non-income producing activities. Write that down, non-income. These are the things that we want to eliminate out of your life. Listen to me, I want you to do me a favor. I said, how many days do you work a month? You guys said 23, 25, 27, right? Cause you're gonna take time off, right? 20 days a month, okay? Do me a favor, how many hours do you work a day? Write that down, how many hours you work a day? So if I'm working 23 days a month, okay? Days a month, if I'm working 10 hours a day, all right? Do you, your paper should look like this. Write down how many hours you're working total every month. Well, this person, that was me, I'm working 230 hours. Does that make sense? Okay, let's do something real quick. If you sell cars, right, how many cars do you sell a month on average? 10, 12, 15, 35, 50, what do you sell? Okay, let's say a person says, I sell 12 cars a month. Okay, how long does it take you to sell a car on average? Let's say three hours to be safe. Let's just give you some extra time. I don't wanna cut it, let's do three hours. That's 36 hours a month that you're actually selling and making money, is that right? Okay, watch this. So I'm gonna take 230 hours that you're working a month. That's how long you're at work. I'm gonna take the 36 hours that you're selling cars, and you know what that leaves you with? Yep, 194 hours not doing nothing. This is the biggest problem with our salespeople nowadays. This is your problem. I'm telling you your problem. You, you don't think you have time to train? Are you kidding me? Somebody, anybody, right? Just think about it. You know, I would say, again, like whatever you do, take what the product is you sell, how long it takes to sell that product, and then figure out how much time you're, you're actually selling something while you're at work. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy Elliott. I just released my social media total domination playbook. Now I wanna ask you a question, right? Does everybody know who you are, what you do, how great you are, what you do, and where you're at? If not, I'm gonna show you how to make that happen. This is world domination. I'm gonna show you how to destroy it. If you're a sales pro and you're in the automotive space, this book right here is gonna show you how to destroy your competition. I'm gonna give this to you for free. I currently train over 300,000 salespeople and I have over 4,000 dealers on my training platform. There's another level. I'm going to take you there. Guys, click the link below. I'm going to give you this for free. Let's kick ass. Let's destroy your competition. Now, you see the leftover time? 190 hours. What number did you guys get? Yeah, you only got three people in the room? What'd you get? Most of you guys got 180 to 200. Am I right? So you got 180 to 200 hours a month, you're not selling anything. And watch, do your managers even care or recognize or know? Uh-uh, you know why? No one ever trained them. That's why. They worked their ass off to get where they're at. They might have studied some other people or had a good mentor above them, okay? But they're not teaching you how to do it. That's why you're here. You're here because, listen to me, non-income producing activities. Write that down, non-income. These are the things that we want to eliminate out of your life. Anything that's preventing you from making money or that's costing you. You know games on your phone? If you look, if you got a game on your phone, delete all of them right now. I mean, listen, the fact that, I mean, that's a distraction, okay? Any distraction in your life is what's going to kill you. All managers and GMs, when I ran a team, I'd say, hey, listen to me. I'm going to explain this to you guys. And some of you, you may be like, well, I, I, I don't want to be micromanaged. I don't want you to be micromanaged either. I want you to be an adult. Okay, so I'm glad we're on the same page. Okay, because I really don't want to micromanage you unless you're a baby. Are you a baby? No? Okay, well then I won't micromanage you. But why don't I do this with you real quick? When you go to work, you trade your time for money. You kiss your kids, your wife goodbye, okay, whatever, whatever's important to you. When you go into work, the leadership, it's their responsibility to make sure that all the people that are working with them have the right tools in place to be successful and know what to do every hour of the day. They don't do that. You have to do it yourself. And then when you have a team one day, you're gonna teach it to your team, okay? But you have to master it first before you can teach it to anybody else. Most people can't master this. You know why? Because discipline, commitment. Commitment is the shortage of the day. 
Okay, everybody talks about commitment. There's no commitment. You guys understand this. Write down that word. Commitment means whatever the hell you say you're going to do, you do it, period. Discipline, what does that mean? No wavering, non-negotiable. Non-negotiables, you know what that means? It's not up to talk about. I'm doing it, okay? These little things today, as we're going through the training, are going to change your life so that you can use the tools, the resources, the closes, and the things and the strategies that we're going to teach you today and then go home and attack. But if you don't change in this first 30 or 45 minutes all these things that I've talked about, these are the foundation to the house. You can't build a house on sand. This is the foundation. If you have a strong foundation, which is what I just told you, train daily, right? The investment is you, no matter who you're around. Listen to me. I had a manager at my store when I was younger that closed everybody's deals. I refused to have him close my deals. You know why? Because what if I used him as a crutch, he closed all my deals, then one day he left. Then I suck. My life goes away in one minute. So you know what? I paid for training and flew out all around the country. I paid $3,000 a month at 20 years old for 18 months straight, okay? Nobody spends, you guys don't spend 3,000 a month with me or with anybody. I did it. I wanted to study everybody. And you know what? Funny thing is, that guy left. And when he did, all of our 25 car hands went down to 10 car hands. Everybody's gross went through the freaking shitter. And guess what? Big Daddy rose up and crushed everybody. And I was making 500 grand a year at 21 years old. Listen to me. It's you. You're the investment. It's not your manager. It's not your GM. It's not your store. It's you. Can you hold your own? Okay, when you look in the mirror, are you doing what it is that you want to happen? Or is that, is it not, is anybody else helping you get to where you want to get? But are you doing what you said you were going to do? If you are, you're going to be dangerous. Nobody's going to be able to stop you. And by the way, not only will you conquer right now what it is that you're going through and become undeniably the best at what you do, but then also one day when you go to lead your teams, they're going to want to be just like you. They're going to want to give all they got because you're real. And in a world where there's so many fake people, okay, I don't like rich people. I like seeing poor people make a lot of money, okay? I've got a, I've got a, I've got a poorness inside of me, and I say go back to zero, that I stay humble constantly. That's why I'm hard to beat because I stay starving all the time. No matter how much we make or whatever happens or what kind of wins we get, I never lose that edge. The world's trying to suck that edge out of you. Don't let them. And some of you, you don't have that edge, which that's the reason why you haven't made it. But you haven't committed to training daily. You know why? Because everybody else isn't doing it. Okay? When you go out here, nobody out there is doing what it is that I'm telling you guys to do. So you're not going to have anybody to influence you. You're actually going to have to be the influencer now. And before you can influence other people, you got to influence yourself. You got to understand, if you want to have a massive following, if you want people to really like look up to you and you want to do something great in your life, you're going to have to produce that in your own life first. Okay? And then you can produce it and other people know that you're real and then they can have it in their life. And guess what? You'll know it's real because you've done it.